Okay, I'm going to do a top coat first for this one because I'm going to add just a little bit of the uh, 40 gel. 30 seconds. I'm going to do like a couple of petals only. And then we're going to do the um, spider on that. You think spider's going to fit on that? Mm -hmm. I'll do a smaller spider. You think? Yeah. Like this spider? Maybe smaller spider, like a pink spider. Pink spider. Why not? Yeah, okay. I'm gonna pick the smaller beads. Smaller, smaller bead. This is golden. And place it right there on the edges, okay? And all you need to do is using the 3D brush. Hey, Mika, thanks so much for tuning in. And using the 3D dual brush, press it down and release, press it and release, press and release, and pull it out. Okay, you see how simple it is? Just press down and release. And I'm gonna do another leaves, which is in the funky, that's what I got at inside my subscription box. And it one right there. So you're gonna do go ahead and press down and release. Same thing, press and release. And using right on the uh, tip of your dual end. So then they ask you, what can they do with it if they don't have the 3D brush? Uh, good question. I love it. It's a great question. You can using, this one had the dual end. One ends with, um, one ends with the Kolonsky bristle, the Kolonsky hair. And then the other ends for the 3D, um, exclusive for 4D gels and a 5D gel, Gliss 4D gel and Gliss 5D gel to create a 3D. You can able to try this, but then the Kolonsky, um, hairs might stick it on the, your 4D gel. You don't need any solution because if you're using this and you're using the alcohol or any other solution, it might break down the products because alcohol is too hot. It might make your uh, 4D gel is, is getting smushy. So um, just in case you don't have it, you can try this. Um, any two that will not stick it on, try it and then let us know how it turned out for you. As that's at the, I was thinking of something any brush i'm not sure it's gonna stick it like really really stick it on you try it out and let us know how it turned out so i'm just get a couple pieces beads already i'm gonna clear quick for hold on before it clear quicks i'm not gonna just like try to kick kick here uh, i'm gonna do a weaver gels first before i key it okay here is the Weaver gel in uh, jet blacks and uh, glitz weaver gel is really stringy, so it's not gonna like um, disturb when you are trying to pull the strings out. I'm go ahead and using the uh, sticks that I made from toothpicks and Scott tapes. Really simple. Picks the small amount. If you don't want to be your line to be too thick then you just add just pick up a little bit if you want the line to be thicker then you pick more weaver gel okay 
okay and then flash key this looks cool huh flash key for 30 seconds So she is circus. So Chris, if you want to ask for the flower, which is this one right here. So this is a 3D handcrafted flower. So we actually had people sit down and do this for you guys. And it's really, really nice. Make up a film. Usually you have crystal and everything else with it. And it looks really amazing. Save you half an hour to just Sculpting all more, or more than that. Mm -hmm. And uh, you get one regular design with the box. Yes. Oh, I'm so excited. Every month, I get different flowers. Uh, last month, I get a really cool, like, gray, black, um, gray, ombre, like, grayish, like, uh, grayish, black, um, whatever it is. It's really cool. I have the videos that I save it there. For you so if you have some time you can definitely watch the replace so go ahead and using condensed glue gels i am applying the condensed glue gel right now so and a little bit right on the edges of the paddles right there and then also make sure that it's enough you don't want to be too thin because then the the um spider gonna come off on the nails and not too thick so don't forget to using a no wipe top coat now if you want the the finishes to be matte looks then you add the matte um no wipe top coat on but if you don't want to be matte you want shiny then you add the no wipe top coat shiny top coat on both top coats you don't need to um, remove the tacky layer all right here is the spider and he'll try so hard to get his spiders back together but i believe they are missing the leg you think the legs is the longer legs inside or longer legs is outside i think the longer legs is outside i mean inside okay that's my spider he's unique yeah okay whatever you and then add another one on. Sorry. It's really simple. I got a picture and save it for everyone's already. You can check out on the profile. I mean on the on the post. How easy the spiders made it just from the perfect drop and I need the two two more two more can I borrow from this lake mm -hmm. like this lake then that guy become a full -like spider that's okay can you wipe it on off the tip That is so cool. It looks so cool when I remove this off from that uh, stand. So now I'm gonna put this uh, couple with antler right here. And then you can also add some uh, like crystal here. some crystal here I'm just using an SS3 for my uh, glow-in-the-dark crystal kit that's couple here because it's gonna look so stunning when you are charging it like busy working during your days and you know just busy or whatever and then at night time go out party your nails gonna be glow in the darks and black lights both all right all right all right here you go spider and i'm gonna wipe it off using my the other end of the crystal picker to dot two 
and then ready to cure. It looks 